Okay, I am live, so I'm checking on my phone right now. So I wanted to give you guys a um, overview about what I'm doing for the cats and um, what I was, um, what my plan about Oreo's teeth is. So you guys know Oreo went to the vet two times last year. Um, both of them due to dietary. Um, due to his sensitive stomach. And what they had recommended is they said, hey, put him on this prescription cat food. So this is what he's on right now. It is Hill's Prescription uh, ZD. And there's a case of 24 cans. Now, when I had given them this food, right, I kind of thought like, okay, I don't know how much food to give these cats. And the magic number for three cats is three cans. I know it sounds really low, but hear me out. If I give them three cans, at the end of the night, the night, they don't finish the third can at all. So with Oreo's teeth, and this is a graphic image, I'm going to show it to you. Um, the reason why I started him on the dental thing is about a week ago, I was smelling his mouth and it, it just smelled like death. And I was thinking, what the beep is going on, Oreo? So Oreo doesn't really allow me to, you know, check his teeth. He's a lot of cats. They don't want you to like brush your teeth. And I can't, you know, I can't brush Clinton's teeth for sure. Um, Blackberry won't allow me to touch her teeth as well. So I was looking online and I came across this. So it is called, hold on. So it's called plaque off powder. I gave it to him for a few days and I noticed the breath was so much better than it was before. And now his, his, his breath doesn't stink. Now, when you look at it, it says oral hygiene helps reduce plaque and tartar, freshen uh, bad breath, support teeth and gum health. So his teeth do not smell. Um, and he's eating. Um, he's, he's still eating the same amount. Um, I can't tell you if he's eating more cause they always just, you know, finish the same amount of food. He's still a chunky looking cat. But so when I was looking at this, I thought, okay, well, Hmm. Let me just do a little bit more. So for his first can of food, he gets this can. He gets um a, he gets uh scoops of this. I I give them about one and a half scoops of this powder because there's three cats, right? And then afterwards, what I just added today was this thing, this water additive, and this is a Zymox um Oratin enzymatic brushless oral care and I was looking at this stuff and people say like yeah it does make a difference with the the teeth see so it helps freshen the bad breath clean teeth remove plaque and it takes a while I believe if you look at what was it this one it takes a while to work but people say it does work let me see so some people say you know will this remove existing tartar and then someone said, as long as it's not really bad, it should. I'd use it for a few months, you know, then use this. So some per some people say that it worked for their cat's teeth. Other people said it didn't. And then for the second can of food, I put give them this. So this is mostly for Oreo. You'll notice most of the supplement, most of everything that the cats get is mostly for Oreo. Um, but because we have three cats, right, it has to be um, all the cats eat the same food. So this is joint help supplement that Oreo's on. And then the third can of food, I usually give them this, this Dr. Formula's next um, Nexabiotics. I can't tell you specifically, honestly, if it really works because Oreo's on prescription cat food or all three cats are on prescription cat food, but I figure it's not a bad thing for them to be on probiotics. Before, I was also alternating with this one, Life Extension Cat Mix for the third can of food. And it is basically a supplement. There's all sorts of things in here. However, I just read in the review that they said that this thing has... Oh, I don't see it. Maltodextrin, and s some people believe that it contributes to tooth decay. So for the for the time being, I'm removing this from the um, from what Oreo's eating for the time being. So he's just getting this probiotic, and then they get greenies as a snack every night. This is supposed to also reduce tartar, build up, and freshen the breath. And after that he gets, he will start getting his teeth brushed. Um, I was actually using this. See this, this Tropic Clean? 
they say that you don't have to brush your teeth, but you when you use it, right, you'll see cleaner teeth in 30 days or less. So he's been on this, I think, for last three days or so. And then this thing, they say that it's also supposed to help reduce plaque and tartar. You can see it over here. See, help reduce tartar and plaque buildup, cleans teeth and freshens breath. They say ideally you're supposed to brush the teeth every day, but you do it at least two to three times a week. And I, yeah, I know Oreo is going to like fight me. Oreo is not going to allow me. Look at this even. It looks like. Doesn't that look like a tuxedo cat? Oreo is not going to be too happy with this for sure. So I am not too confident that I'm going to be successful with this. That's the reason why with this thing, this Tropic Clean, I feel like, okay, this gets to him daily. This thing, I'll try to aim for three times a week. And you might be saying, Erica, why don't you just bring Oreo cat straight to the vet, All right? My thinking is this. I have faith in a lot of these products. I think it will work. When I look at Oreo's tartar, I see there's tartar on his teeth. However, these products are supposed to reduce tartar and also um, kind of um, like prevent it more from forming up. So I'm kind of curious to see what happens with these products. I'm going to give it the, the 30 days that these products are recommending. See if there is a difference here. So you can see Tropiclean, they say 30 days. This plaque off over here. They also say results within two to three weeks. So if, see, look at that. Heavy tartar buildup, start using Proden plaque off, but also visit the vet for dental cleaning. And then if you have mild tartar buildup, start using the powder today. I want to see what happens if Oreo is on this powder or on this whole regimen for 30 days and how much of a difference it makes. Oreo is going to get a dental cleaning, but I want to hold it off for a month and see what happens. Um, one of the reasons being too is, is that I not only do I have faith in these products, I also believe that there's a lot of people who might have cats with dental issues, right? And the cost for a dental cleaning is about $1,000, $1,200. No, actually it's about $1,200 um, from what we were quoted for Blackberry. And I was surprised about Blackberry because when I look at Blackberry's teeth, it looks so much better than Oreo's. So right now with how the situation is, not everybody is going to want to dish out $1,200. I have faith in Oreo's teeth that in one month, it's not going to be super bad with all this, you know, preventative and maintenance and stuff. So I want to see what happens in in 30 days. Um, if there is a, if there is a sizable change on it, you know, does the tartar actually get off his teeth? Some people say that when they use things like the water additive and they use the you know the the, the brushing the teeth, it kind of softens the tartar and then it just like chunks of it come out. But I won't know unless I try, right? So. I know some people are going to give me a lot of crap about it and say, well, you know, just 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 pay for the cleaning and just do it immediately. There are so many people out there that have cats uh, that have dental issues and they are not doing anything about it because they just kind of figure like, oh, yeah, I can't afford the dental cleaning. And I want to see with the combination of this stuff doesn't make a big difference in his teeth. Again, when I look at his teeth, you guys see like the little um, stuff on his teeth. It's, it's mostly, it's not that bad on that side, in my opinion, compared to on the other side. So I don't know what it is. I think maybe Oreo is just eating more on one side of his mouth than the other. He is eating greenies, so I know 100% just giving him greenies is not doing the whole thing. But again, I have faith that it will be okay. Yeah, no, I don't know what it is. It's, I don't know if it's cat tartar, but here's the thing what I do know, that whatever is on his teeth does not grow like that within two to three months. It takes a while for it to appear. So my thinking with all this stuff is, is that, okay, if it's tartar with, with the dental additive, with the brushing, with the plaque off, with the, the no brushing gel, I mean, this is really just putting a bunch of products all at one time, right? I can at least say it's not going to get any worse, right? That's my thinking with it, because it's kind of like, how would, I, how would I say it? I don't expect to see terrible, terrible things happening in one month with this cat's mouth. I really don't. I think that 
it's going to either improve and i really do believe it's going to improve um with this kind of stuff because this is all dental hygiene stuff um but how much is it going to improve i don't know but i think it's useful to see what the improvement is again um in a month one month we'll see what happens we'll see if there's a sizable difference um but i already talked to lewis about it and he was like yeah you know give it a shot see what happens with it yeah because i mean like when you look at his teeth it's it's not like the thing appeared overnight right i mean this is tartar and it surprises me because when he went to the vet they had mentioned dental cleaning but and they inspected his teeth okay they, they gave him the do-over um twice last year and they never ever stressed anything about dental cleaning really um really something so if they had told me hey you know his teeth look really bad you know you got to get a dental cleaning asap that would have been a totally different story but they never mentioned that they just said oh yeah you know you should think about him getting a dental cleaning because he is an older cat and that was it but there was no it's so when i um when we brought blackberry to the vet um for a checkup they never said anything about um they never said like oh yeah you know her teeth look really bad i mean blackberry's teeth versus oriole's teeth is a lot different blackberry's teeth is you know really nice and i, I don't know why her teeth look so much better than oriole's because they're all eating the same food they're getting the same treats but yeah they were saying you know look into getting blackberry some dental cleaning i was like what her teeth her teeth look really good in my opinion so um, maybe it's just difference of vet opinions. Maybe it's, um, I don't know what it is. Yeah, so um, you guys know, like, I care so much about Oreo Cat. It's not like, it's like, it's not like I'm thinking like, oh, yeah, Oreo Cat. Yeah, whatever, you know, just let his teeth be. But I want to see how much of a difference all these products work. And moving forward, um, I think I'm going to continue doing this stuff um, just for maintenance stuff. Um, again, Clinton will not let me brush his teeth. That's 1,000%. I do not think he's going to allow me to um, even put any kind of gel in his mouth. Um, he just, he freaks out really easily. Blackberry, she's not going to be too happy with that kind of stuff. But Oreo, he is um, the most tolerant cat. He is, um, he has the most, how would I say it? He is the most, uh, he, he allows me to, he allows people, you know, to, he, he's the most friendliest cat. He has the best temperament for the cats. And uh, he's kind of been a good trooper with me. So um, yesterday I had to put this in his mouth. Where is this? I gave him this little Tropiclean Fresh Breath. You can see the reviews, like 5,176 um, reviews. And again, they say you should see cleaner teeth in 30 days or less. And it should work together to help remove plaque or tartar safely um, and effectively. How much it's going to work? I do not know. I really do not know. But a combination of this thing I think would do better than just one product itself. And let me stress this once again. If I felt like this was really like an extreme situation and Oreo needed to get dental cleaning like today, I would say, okay, you know, uh, make the appointment. But I kind of look at it and I'm like, well, this took a while. The vet never stressed any big importance about him getting dental cleaning. They, like I said, when I when I brought him to the vet twice last year, they never stressed like, yeah, really, you know, he really needs to get dental cleaning. Yeah, it's imperative that he get it. It was just said very casually. It was just said, I don't remember the exact words, but it just said, oh, you should think about it because he is an older cat. I was like, okay, well, that's it. But never of this whole like, oh, yeah, you know, we can see so much over here. And yeah, so the vet definitely knows more than me. So that's why. I bring this kind of thing. And then even Blackberry's thing, it was like, that. that's the thing that I said really took me off guard because Blackberry's teeth look so much better than Oreo's. So why a vet never told, told you know, pushed uh, stronger for Oreo? I don't know. I don't know. But they also could see on the file um, that he had, he had gone to the vet. I think that was his, I think he went to the vet three three times or so three times in the last um one and a half years um for his his um stomach issues and even then you know his stomach issue is not like 100 percent resolved i would say it's like 90 90 95 percent um better actually like 90 percent better than it was so i still have to wipe his butt um but it's a 
definitely a lot less frequency than it was before for sure and uh, yeah he's not so poopy butt but keep in mind it is it might not just be the food it could just be a combination of things because you guys see all the supplements and the probiotics and things like that yeah so the other thing too is oreo is an older cat and I know that as, I don't know how old Oreo Cat is, right? Oreo Cat was a, you know, Oreo Cat's a stray. So according to his, uh, according to his microchip, uh, I think, oh God, I forgot what the microchip day was. But he was, he's at least nine years old, I believe. But he could be older, right? Because when you get a cat, you're not microchipping the cat immediately after you get it. It could just be a few years. So with Oreos, you know, you can see how Oreo moves. You can see that he is definitely a senior cat. I got him cat stairs. Um, he's kind of a low energy cat, even with his Cosa Queen. Um, and I just, I just worry. Like, I know they say every one out of a 1,000 cats have maybe a complication with anesthesia. I, I really don't really kind of want to risk it. Um, I just worry, like, what if Oreo Cat is the one out of 1,000? So I want to go down this route as well because it's, you know, I don't have to worry about Oreo having complications from anesthesia. And there are, there are cases that you can look it up. It's like, you think everything's okay with the cat, but then somehow the cat has some kind of heart defect and then they just don't make it out of anesthesia. So I think about this thing very seriously. And... Again, again, um, this kind of route, it is all about consistency. Um, it, it is a multitude of products um, put together. But I feel that if the cats are on some kind of dental additive every, um, every day moving forward, right? It helps Blackberry. It helps Clinton. And then they're also on Greenies. I, I don't know. The Greenies work so much better, I feel, on Clinton and Blackberry than Oreo. I don't know why. I don't know why. Oreo's eating the Greenies, but maybe, maybe his, maybe, I don't know what it is. <laughs> greenies can only do so much. That's what I have learned. So anybody who says like, oh, just give your cat Greenies. I can tell you for a fact, these cats get Greenies every single day. Uh, I, even with the Greenies, let me, let me pull this up. The greenies say that the greenies say that it's supposed to help clean teeth, reduce tartar buildup, and freshen breath. Yeah, I don't know if it's just the way Oreo's chewing. I don't know if it's because he might be swallowing it a lot more. You know, he's just he's just eating it whole. If if so, he's not really chewing too much, or maybe it's going more on one side of his mouth than the other thing. Uh, but yeah, I one hundred percent like. Oreo's breath on greenies alone does not help his breath. He really does benefit from having this uh, plaque off powder. And I don't, I don't anticipate getting, um, getting Oreo off this plaque off powder anytime soon. I think it really works. Um, before, it's like I would smell his breath. I'd be like, oh my goodness, Oreo, what the be is going on with your mouth? But now I don't smell it. it. It smells like regular cat breath and it happened really quickly. So I have um, a lot of faith on it. And again, we'll see what happens moving forward. I think that, um, yeah, so this was $19.80. But it seems like it'll last a while. Again, this is being spread between three cats with the plaque off powder, the Oratine. I, I had to take out the filter. So they usually have a cat fountain. They have, um, what is it? That, oh, what, what's the name of this thing? The Drinkwell Platinum. But I got rid of it because people say, like, it leaves a film all over the place. So I thought, okay, well, let me see how they work with just a regular bowl right now. And uh, 30 days later, if it makes a difference, then, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens with this additive thing. Um, maybe they don't like the taste. Who knows? But I do know they are going to drink it. And, of course, the Cosa Queen, I want to say it helps Blackberry and Clinton more <laughs> just because Oreo is a slow cat still he's a lazy bum let's just be honest over here um but yeah i there's only so much supplements can do again with the way oreo acts you know with with how he is um you can see there's a huge difference between his speed of movement versus uh, clinton and blackberries and yeah, so I don't again I don't know how old Oreo cat is. Oreo could be older than 
than what I think. You know, he could be 13 years old. He could be 14 years old. Um, yeah. But whatever it is, I'm trying to make his transition into um, getting older a little easier for him. And um, yeah, so here's the probiotics. I feel like it, you know, I feel, well, I don't know. I think that um, having probiotics isn't a bad thing. But you see how it says proprietary formula for cat diarrhea? I used this before Oreo went on prescription food. It did not solve his, 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 um, his poop issues. It did not. Um, it might work for other people, but I think Oreo has a sensitivity or he's allergic to something. And I do not know what that something is. Um, his food right now, this Hills Prescription ZD that he eats, the big difference about this food is it has this hydrolyzed protein. So the protein, so yeah, from what, what the vet said is it's like the protein is broken down into smaller pieces so it becomes easier for the cat to digest. I do see there is a difference, but again, his poop issues are not resolved 100%, but it looks a lot better. It looks a lot better than it was before because before his poop was more yellowy color and now it's actually like a normal cat brown color. And this happened immediately after I changed the food. So with this... I'm like, okay, there's just something inside of this Hills uh, ZD that is better than the other food. And Oreo went through about five different cat foods before we put them on prescription. Because this stuff, you know, this stuff definitely adds up. Um, we go through about three cans a day for these cats. So, yeah, case of 24 lasts about a week for the cat. So, this is, this is, this is why I tell you guys, like, if you take in a cat, please do not think that if you have a free cat, it's, you know, the cat is free. No, Oreo's like, Oreo's definitely um, extra care cat. And he is the only cat that needs a lot of this stuff. He's the only cat that has food sensitivity. He has joint issues. Um, he has dental issues. And it could be a combination of his age as well as maybe he just is a sensitive tummy cat. But when I know about these issues, you know, I try to, I try to figure out ways to make it easier for him. And... Yeah, so we will see how long, you know, what happens in 30 days. Again, um, I want to see if this does make a difference for maintenance, and I do think it's going to benefit the cats all around. I don't know how they are going to be faring with the, the tooth additive. Let me pull this thing up, this thing. But it's supposed to help manage bad breath, dry mouth, plaque buildup, gum problems, odor causing bacteria. I just started this today, um, but I think, yeah, but this thing, this thing, um, well, Greenies has been, they've been on it for about a year. Let me find this. This Oreo has been on for, I believe, the last three days. He's not happy about it, you guys. He is really not happy having this thing um, squirted into his mouth. But I have faith that after a while, he's just, hopefully he's just going to give up on this. Uh, Oreo was not happy eating the plaque off powder too. He was, uh, he was just staring at his food bowl. But I knew looking at that cat, I was like, Oreo, you are a tubby cat. You, you are not going to do 100%, uh, you know, he's not going to starve himself for it. So I, after about, you know, he was still eating, but it was kind of begrudgingly. And now all three cats, they just treat this powder like no other. So they don't care about it. Maybe Oreo's teeth feels a little better. Maybe that's why he's eating it. And yeah, it's, I, I don't want to pull something out just because the cats are a little hesitant. I want to see, you know, let, let's give this some time, let them get used to it. I don't want them to think, oh yeah, if I don't eat this kind of stuff, then Erica's not gonna, you know, Erica's gonna pull it and I can go back to it. Because Oreo, as you guys remember, Oreo does not like eating this prescription food. He'd rather have dry food any day. He'd rather have regular cat food any day over this stuff. But because I know Oreo needs to be on this kind of food for his uh, tummy, that's why he sticks on this food. That's why all three cats are on this food. Um, because if I give them regular cat food, Clinton and uh, Blackberry can be on the regular cat food, Oreo will not eat this hill sign zd and oreo has issues with the dry food version of this so yeah he can't be on dry food as well and i know that they say that 
Um, one thing good about dry food is, is that it's supposed to kind of um, help reduce the plaque or um, help yeah, help reduce tartar buildup. That's the whole idea with greenies, right? Greenies is like super crunchy, but it's not, it's not doing everything that I needed to do for Oreo's teeth. And that, this is where like the extra stuff comes in, the, the powders and the additives and the brushing and the gel. And uh, this is, this is kind of, I think this is kind of, I, I cannot imagine doing more for this cat. I mean, if I'm brushing this cat's teeth and I'm adding this in every day, and then I'm adding in a plaque off powder and I'm adding in a tooth additive <laughs> on my side. Yeah, I'm not I'm not seeing any anything more I can do. So um, we'll see if this works. And uh, I hope it makes a difference for his tartar. But again, um, I talked to Lewis about this and he's like, OK, you know, we'll see what happens in a month. And uh, we'll just bring Oreo to get dental cleaning. But at least we can tell you guys and say, okay, with all this stuff, did it really make a big difference on his teeth? Or did it not make a difference? And truly, yeah, the dental cleaning has to 100% happen. So if you have a cat with really bad, uh, uh, bad tartar, right? Do you, can you actually uh, reverse it or can you reduce it with this kind of stuff? Hard to say, hard to say. Um, some people, they say that when you use some of these products for a couple weeks or a month, the tartar lessens or gets softer and um, the, you know, they make, they can make a turnaround. But with Oreo, you know, I don't know how it's going to be for him. So, um, yeah. So, um, Oreo isn't, no, Oreo can chew his food. He definitely chews his food. He eats the greenies and everything. But I think he favors more his left side than his right side. And I'm not too sure if it's because the tartar built up on the right side, right? So I'm hoping that with the combination of the plaque off and the dent, the water additive and the brushing, maybe he, maybe he, um, Maybe his gums and his teeth get better. But I do know, like I said, I do know right now his breath doesn't smell. And he is eating, so I'm not worried about that. Um, but it's I don't see I don't see his the bacteria in his mouth or the dental issues getting worse with all this stuff. If anything, it's probably going to stay the same. So I'm not seeing a big difference in his mouth um, come in a month. If if I don't see it getting worse with all this all this um, this whole little regimen on there. Yeah, and then some people say that um, you you have to be a little worried because if you if you bring a cat over to a vet, right? And this is just my concern here. You bring a cat over to the vet, then they say, oh, you know, you've been, you know, what have what have you been doing? And then you tell them this is what you've been doing. They get the dental cleaning, and sometimes, sometimes from what I hear, there's some vets that say, "Oh yeah, you want you want to pull out all the teeth in the mouth because of that." I'm like, <laughs> and that that can be kind of expensive. Um, I shared with you guys there was one person in New York. They brought their cat over to a dental cleaning, and they got a price quote of about four thousand dollars because of dental cleaning plus extractions. Now. If, you know, when Oreo gets the dental cleaning and if they, they do the x-rays and they say, okay, we want to pull these teeth from him, at that time, right, I can say, well, I've been trying all these things, you know, I don't see it getting much better after a month, right? With all this whole protocol, I give it the 30 days, and if, he, if the, if the um, vet says, yeah, we want to pull out teeth, I will definitely seek out a second opinion and say, okay, you know, is it... I, cause I don't want Oreo to get his teeth pulled. I don't see him in pain that he is having to get his teeth pulled, but again, I don't know. Um, but it is, it is a possibility cause some people say like, yeah, they bring their cat over to dental cleaning and then the vet says, yeah, we want to pull this tooth and this tooth and this tooth and this tooth out. Yeah, so he's already been to the vet. Um, he went to the vet two times last year, and they inspected his teeth. And if they had, if they had told me, hey, you know, really, you know, his teeth look terrible. Make sure um, you do this. They never. Here's the thing. They mentioned his teeth, but none. The vet did not mention. And we went to. We saw two different. I think yeah. He's been to the vet three times. 
they looked at his teeth and they never said, oh, yeah, you should really start brushing his teeth. Oh, you should, you know, you should add this to his water. Oh, you know, he really needs a cleaning. There was no mention of that at all. So I, I only really started going down this path because his, his breath smelled terrible, right? So when I looked into that, I was like, okay, let's get the plaque off and let's work on that. So I think there are other people out there that maybe maybe their cat went to the vet and then the cat was, the vet said, oh yeah, you know, um, think about dental cleaning because he is getting an older cat. But there is nothing about like, oh yeah, you really should brush your teeth every day or oh yeah, you really should um, like look into getting uh, the cats put on this or this or this. Um, yeah. So, um, again, again, uh, it just, it just made me a little surprised because when Blackberry went to the vet, uh, the vet actually, the, okay, here's what happened. So we went to the vet, right? The vet talks to me about Blackberry and actually writes us a price quote, um, up for Blackberry's dental cleaning. So, that, so that took me off guard because I was like, what? Blackberry needs to get dental cleaning? What? Her teeth look so much better than Oreo. So much better than Oreo. So again, when we brought Oreo to the vet, the vet never said, okay, you know, think about getting a dental cleaning. The price of the dental cleaning is this much money. So that's why I never really took it into priority. I was like, okay, you know, maybe his teeth are getting older. Just like an older person, right? An older human. You hear like, oh, yeah, you know, uh, just be mindful that teeth may be wear and tear over age. And, you know, think about it, but it's not a big priority. As, as humans get older, right, our teeth tend to um, be more prone to cavities or whatnot. Yeah. So um, if you guys have... Um, this is, you know, this is just my experience with um, Oreo's, Oreo's breath and Oreo's mouth, but uh, I see a difference definitely with this plaque off powder. I can't say exactly right now if it helps reduce the plaque in the tartar, but it definitely works on freshening the um, bad breath. And I didn't check Oreo's teeth beforehand, right? But I'm curious to see come in a month, are those, you know, is the tartar going to be reduced? Can we see a difference? How much does brushing and this little gel off this little thing really work um some people say you know this does work no brushing but i think that brushing is definitely better than no brushing for sure that's just that's just my opinion i think oreo is gonna fight me tooth and nail so thankfully i have handling gloves i put that on the kitty wish list i think last year someone had purchased it and I am definitely going to need handling gloves, uh, handling Oreo. He is not going to be happy with me brushing his teeth. He's going to be squirming. Uh, Lewis has been noticing that Oreo's been kind of holding a grudge at me after I, I dropped this, uh, this little gel in his mouth. Because the thing about this thing is he put it on both sides of the mouth, right? And then it's kind of like, uh, it's like a gel, so it, they, they lick the their mouth and that's supposed to spread the gel around their teeth then i give it to them after i give them greenies and after they finish eating their uh their dinner because you're supposed to let this stay in the mouth for about at least 30 minutes yeah Yeah, if Oreo does let his you know, let you brush his teeth long term, you can just get a cleaning now and then brush for the rest of his life because when cats get really old, it's not worth the risk of cleaning. I don't know how old Oreo is, but I do know that compared to the other cats, right, he isn't in the best shape. He has the same access to all the toys. He has the same access to all the treats, all the, you know, cat houses. Uh, he can run if he wanted to. He has the same food. He has the same... He's going to have the same water additive as all the cats. And yeah, he's just, out of all three cats, he's definitely the the most extra care. And Lewis always like, he, Lewis kind of comments, he's like, Erica, you know, he's the only cat that loses me subscribers too. And he's, Oreo's the most um, expensive cat to take care of. But you know what? Oreo's worth it. I really do believe that. Yeah. <laughs> so I... See, so here we go. Look at this. See, see cleaner teeth in 30 days or less with daily uses directed. See that? See this ugly looking tooth over here? And then afterwards, even without brushing, 
allegedly it can look like this. So I hope that with Oreo Cat, because you know how his teeth look like, maybe you guys can see a big before and after. And I, again, if there is a positive change, and I do expect to either see it not changing or there being a positive change, I cannot attribute any of this stuff to only being one product. So you guys see that this is like four different products that Oreo is going to um, be on, you know, with the brushing and the gel and the plaque off and the water additive. But my hope is, is that he does have, you know, it does get fixed. And for people who do have cats with dental issues and they can't, you know, they can't um, afford to send their cat or they don't want to risk their cat going over and getting uh, dental cleaning and being put under anesthesia, then they can look into getting um, this little routine done. Um, but I hope, you know, it, it, it all depends on each cat. Each cat is different. Um, but I hope that it does make a difference um, and it does help some other cat out there because dental, you know, cat care, cat costs, it gets pricey. Whenever Oreo goes to the vet or any of the cats go to the vet, it's about $200 a pop. And I know that for some people, you know, especially during this time, they're thinking like, crap, you know, I don't want to spend $200 um, for my cat that I love so much. I also know that there are some people who, you know, because you know when finances are tight right they they get a lot of stress because they might be thinking like oh my cat's teeth look like absolute crap but I can't afford the dental cleaning and then they don't know really where to turn to or what to do so maybe maybe some of these products will work for Oreo and then maybe some person would say well I can't afford the $1,000 dental cleaning but I can maybe afford one or two of these products and then that way the cat you know is healthier I hope you know the breath won't smell as bad I can't recommend any of the other products at this point except this one working on Oreo it, it really does good I like I said I never I never checked his tartar and plaque before him but the bad breath is gone and definitively I can say that greenies alone does not help his uh his bad breath so this plaque off powder it's a little abrasive um I actually did try it myself yeah I did um put a little in my mouth because I was like I wonder how this is for the cats it's kind of like um it's kind of like gritty kind of like a baking powder you know when you rub it between your fingers that's how it kind of feels like so the taste there's not really much taste yeah so uh for this stuff I wanted to see what does Oreo really like this stuff does it taste like crap is that why he's not eating it I think he was just kind of peeved off about the grittiness of it Yeah, so this stuff has dogs on it, um, this one, but it is for cats as well, so you guys can see. Wait, is this the dog version of it? Oh, here we go. No, it's for small dogs and cats. I don't know why they only have dogs over here. Yeah, so some people say that um, they do have some thyroid issues for their pet. Wait, hold up a second. Wait, am I looking at the dog version of this? Crap. I don't... No, 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 no. See, look, it's over here. It says cats, health supplies, dental care. Yeah, I don't have the bottle with me right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, never mind. I take that back. I was just kind of thrown off. But see, there is a cat over there. I don't know why they don't only have dog over here. Small dogs. I, yeah, here we go. Small dogs and cats up to 25 pounds. Yeah, the, the bottle of it kind of throws me off. See, so small dogs and cats up to 25 pounds. Half scoop to one scoop. Again, I give the cats one and a half scoops because all three cats are sharing one. Yeah. I, they really should have a cat on this thing, right? See, like this one has a tuxedo cat. I don't know what it is, you guys, but like look at this one. So this water additive has a tuxedo cat. And then the Costa Queen has a tuxedo cat. It just makes me think like, is there something about like tuxedo cats that might be have like joint issues or dental problems? I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm just being a little, a little, you know, uh, conspiracy theory thing over here but I have heard that there's another person um, 
that has a cat and their tuxedo cat has dental problems too. Coincidentally, it's only the tuxedo cat, but I have a huge soft spot for tuxedo cats. I think they're so lovable and so sweet. Totally not biased at all from having Oreo cat. Um, but whenever I see like a tuxedo cat on this stuff, I'm like, yeah, I'm looking at this, going to get this product because of a tuxedo cat. Yeah, but there's no tuxedo cat over here. Yeah, no tuxedo cat here. So this thing, like I said, I'm holding off on this. I did want to show it to you guys. Some people, when you read the reviews, um, with any supplement, you might you might read that a cat might have a reaction to it, so then they can't, um, you know, it like it might cause certain issues in some animals and not others. So if you do decide to have a supplement um, of sorts, make sure that you kind of be mindful of it. Um, this one, for instance, they said that they had the they had the old packaging of it they only put in half of the recommended dosage and their cats were seriously ill but um see it should also be noted that the product we sent was likely expired in old packaging not the newer packaging so this was happened in 2020 if you look at the newer reviews they say that it works for their cat so again um, it, it all depends on the one cat. Just don't assume that uh, your cat might not have any issues because your cat could have a reaction. And um, for this, because of the maltodextrin, I was thinking, like, I'm just going to pull it for a little bit and then see. Because I don't want to, like, give them this supplement and then find out, like, oh, yeah, well, Erica, maybe, maybe Oreo's teeth didn't get so much better because you put them on this, like, life extension stuff, so... But I don't have any problems with this. The cat never had any complication with the life extension stuff. I can't tell you if it works or not because I don't. I can't ask the cat how they feel. But when I was looking at this stuff, I was like, oh, okay, we got taurine, we got this over there. I don't see any downside about having more probiotics. But yeah. Um, and then, of course, the greenies that the cats love very, very much. Freshens the breath, but doesn't, don't, like I said, if you end up with the Oreo cat, it's it's there's only so much a green can work yeah um, but the other two cats the, the other two cats in my opinion their teeth look great um, it's nice white shiny and maybe it's because they react better on greenies and Oreo needs way more than greenies and yeah and then this stuff as you guys know the toothbrush Oreo is gonna be so look at this look at this do you see that look at this what cat is over here it's a tuxedo cat. Ah, oh. yeah. You want to brush my? You want to brush my teeth? Most likely, I'm a tuxedo cat. Uh, so three products that I've been looking at, right? Was it three? Yeah, I have tuxedo cats on it. Costa Queen, uh, the water additive, and the toothpaste. All have tuxedo cat on there. Look at that. Maybe maybe there's a thing with tuxedo cats in dental care. I don't know, but it's for us, definitely Oreo has the worst teeth. <laughs> he coincidentally happens to be a tuxedo cat. Yeah, let's see over here. Okay, this is not a tuxedo cat. I actually got this for Oreo. Um, you see this little minty thing? Someone had bought it off the cat wish list. I was hoping that Oreo would bite it, and not gonna lie to you guys, nobody bit it. They just kind of swatted it. <laughs> so if anybody wants to get this pet stages catnip and dental health cat toy, just keep in mind they might swat it, and the only thing that will get cleaned would be the floor. That's it. Um, a little disappointing they never bit this thing, the this little cat toy. It's it's really cute, but he just they just didn't want to bite it. And then I remember someone else sent them over this. Uh, stick of sorts and they never bit that either it's just there there were attempts there were attempts to try and get these cats teeth cleaner and they just it seems that i really have to just put them on additives and brushing their teeth and gels yeah so so i guess this person this person said that there it, it caused chemical burns in their their uh, dog's mouth but then other people say that it seemed like it was okay so you can't believe the uh, incredible results so each pet 
it really varies. You can't, just because one pet has a reaction, you can't assume that's going to happen to your pet as well. So, look at that. So, I bought this gel a month ago. Within two weeks, most of the tartar was simply gone. My dog had one of those wellness checks after this afternoon. Normally, by this time, his teeth are so awful that the vet recommends that I pay for a second cleaning out of pocket. Today, though, she checked his teeth and asked what I've been doing differently. I told her about the product. She said she had her assistant Google it and print out the product so that she, she could research it. So maybe, you know, maybe Oreo could be like the dog that in two weeks or so, most of his tartar could be gone. I mean, it worked for this. It worked for this dog. Right, so there is hope for that. Um, but then again, this person said that it made their dog sick. Another person said that it gave the dog diarrhea. So it all depends. Another person says that they they did this and they saw no difference after 30 days. And this one said it made their dog ill. Another person said very impressed. So yeah, it's, it's like you don't know for sure how it's going to work. But definitely I think it's worth the try. With some monitoring, I'm going to be looking at Oriole's teeth for the next 30 days. And maybe, you know, maybe his teeth turn out really good. Maybe it's, maybe you'll look at it and you'll be like, wow, Oriole's teeth look awesome. Or maybe I'll just be like, well, there was an attempt made, you guys. And at the end of the day, it wasn't that good. But we will see. We will see. Curious to see. Um... Yeah, I hope he doesn't get any chemical burns. I'll be monitoring it. Um, I, I'm going to be very involved with his mouth. And he is going to be holding a grudge. Um, I forgot. What was that one time? It was that one time Oreo held a grudge. Oh, yeah, yeah. He held a grudge towards me when um, when I started giving him that dental powder. He did not want to come towards me. He was, like, keeping his distance. I mean, that cat can hold a grudge like no other. I'm not kidding. I don't know where he got it from. But when he's mad, he'll hold, he'll be seething mad at me for for just, like, adding a supplement on it. And I'm like, okay, Oreo, I know. I know you're not happy. I know you're not happy ever since I gave you uh, the prescription food. Because it's not as tasty, right? And then he's probably thinking, like, you're killing me, Erica. Why are you putting all these powders on my food? Oh, now you want to put stuff on my water? Oh, now you want to brush my teeth? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, he is, he is just, yeah. So, um, at night, I'm not going to lie to you guys. Before, or, okay, before I started giving him this, uh, this dental powder, right? This plaque off. I used to get Oreo's paws on my on my shoulder every night, uh, most of the time, right? He used to cuddle next to me and be so sweet. Ever since I started giving him this plaque off, I notice he favors Lewis more. He probably thinks, like, you're not giving me this plaque off. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so yesterday we went to sleep. You know, I've been giving him the dental gel, right, for the last two, three days. And just, he goes on the bed, he walks over me, he usually walks over my neck or my chest to get over to, in between us. And like clockwork, I mean, like, Lewis gets his beautiful face, he gets the paws on his shoulder, and I get Oriole's butt. <laughs> so you can tell between the two of us who Oriole rather spends his time cuddling with more. It's the person who's not trying to, you know, cleaning gel in his mouth or not the person who's trying to actively mess around with his food and uh, yeah yeah no well you got to put the powders and stuff so he can't see it uh no you know what I mean like he already knows he knows that if anyone's messing with his food if anyone's trying to look into his mouth that's going to be me and uh he, it's, it's like, you know, having the good cop and the bad cop, right? Which, which person, which, uh, which of these two people do you associate more favorable feelings with? Uh, is it the, is it the person that doesn't try to, you know, squirt this minty fresh gel in your mouth? Is it the person who isn't trying to, you know, put you on this prescription food or this plaque off powder? Uh, most likely... You know, Oreo's going to associate me with some terrible changes. Be like, you know, my food doesn't taste as good. My food doesn't have the same consistency. My water doesn't taste the same anymore. And now she's trying to, you know, brush my teeth. It's, yeah. At some point, I think he's going to... I hope, I hope he just gives up. 
but uh, if you guys if you guys pick up like Oriole's kind of ignoring me or he's keeping his distance it's it all revolves around his dental care when it comes down to it so if I just kind of or and his diet so if I just let him be on his prescription food if I said Oriole don't worry you know nobody your, your teeth can stay the way it is your teeth can stay stinky and I won't brush your teeth and I won't give you all this stuff he probably would be a lot more favorable to me but I am the person who wants to see his teeth be a little better so yeah um, he's just he's just fighting me you know he's resistant to the change but but I rather have him be an angry cat at me than a toothless cat. Um, Oreo will not be too happy if he if he uh, has really bad dental problems. He is not going to be happy, uh, you know, feeling any, um, you know, if he has to get any tooth extracted. He is, yeah. But he probably just thinks very short term. He probably just sees me as the the, the bearer of just ruining his his life by putting all this stuff on his food and I understand it you know he, he doesn't know what's going on he doesn't understand why I'm doing what I'm doing mint is a cousin to catnip however cats can't taste sweetness you know the thing about this gel and I will say this too if you squirt it in his mouth, right, it's like he can he he can sense it's coming, so he'll start squirming. Uh, I have to like restrain him a bit. Uh, it it looks see this image, you know how it looks like it's so simple, just put it in the mouth. No, you're gonna have that cat once they see that that little bottle go upside down and they hear you trying to squeeze it. Oh, that cat is gonna squirm and be like, I don't want this gel. Screw you, Erica. And immediately after I let him go, so I have to put it on both sides of the mouth, like I said, right? So the left side, um, like I'll do one side first, and then after I do one side, he's like, frick, you know, she got me. Okay, then I have to flip him and put him onto the other side. So I actually have to hold him down on the ground while I'm doing this, because Oreo, Oreo does not want anything in his mouth, right? So I do the other side, and as soon as I let him go, you guys, he runs off as fast as he can away from me. And then he sometimes looks back and he's like, I can't believe you did that to me. And yeah, so and then and then later on, of course, when we go to bed, right, Oreo walks up his cat stairs. He walks over me and he's like, Louis, I love you. You didn't put any fresh breath, clean oral gel in my mouth. So yeah, I just I just get Oreos back a lot of the times. And I don't know when this is going to end, you guys. It's it, yeah, it's, I feel like doing this whole oral care thing and trying to be more proactive about his health is causing division between us temporarily. But maybe one day Oreo will realize like he, it's going to be like this for a very long time. So just he's better off not holding a grudge towards me. Try to cover with him. <laughs> yeah. Then apply, oh, you know what? This cat squirms. He tries to squirm sideways. I mean, he looks like a little earthworm. I mean, like a tubby earthworm trying to, you know, break away from me. So I don't, so he doesn't get the gel in his mouth. It's, there's nothing, there's nothing calming about this. He just, he, even when I, even when he sees me with that thing, he's probably thinking like, oh crap, here we go again. No. And I know he probably gets mad because he's probably thinking, Erica, why are you doing this for me only? Why don't you do this for, you know, Mr. Clinton? Why don't you do this for Blackberry? But, um, yeah, I just, uh, I, if I, you know what, I value my face. That's why I don't want to do Mr. Clinton. Uh, he will, he will, he will hiss at me. He will yowl at me. Uh, I, I know for a fact I cannot um, do this for Mr. Clinton. Blackberry, more of a chance, but... Yeah, I got my hands full with Oreo right now. So, um, I think, I think, yeah, like I said, when I look at Blackberry's teeth, that looks fine to me. I don't see any problems with her teeth. You have to follow up the, you have to follow up the teeth care with some brushing and cuddling, whatever he likes the most. That way he won't be mad. Sir Repetitious, you underestimate how much this cat can hold a grudge towards me. Uh, he will hold a grudge towards me for hours. I will try to cuddle him and give him head rubs and he just... He just like looks away from me. He he's like, screw you, Erica. You're trying to you're trying to get into my good graces. It's not gonna work. I can hold grudges very well. 
So, yeah, he just he just gets so mad. He it, it's cute, but I just I think to myself, oh Oreo, please don't hold a grudge towards me. It sucks. I miss I miss it when Oreo used to cuddle with me, and he used to show me his belly and look so cute. But now he just he just likes to keep his distance from me. That's all. It's just some tough times over here with the dental thing. <laughs> yeah, he's 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 really he's well. Let's put it this way: he, I I just think that he's gonna associate me with things just getting worse for him. So today again, um, last I think yeah, within the last week or so, he got the dental powder. He was holding a grudge for that. Uh, a couple days ago, he started getting the the this fresh breath gel. And he's not too happy about that. Normally, Oreo would be right next to me right now. Um, kind of waiting for me. But he's far, far away. Holding a grudge. And uh, later today, I'm going to try brush his teeth. And I'm sure he's going to hold more of a grudge. He's going to be so mad. He's going to want to get out of this apartment. <laughs> Let's put it that way. And then, um, yeah. So today, he got the water added to it too. It's just... He's, he probably wonders how much worse it can get for him, but I'm like, Aria, I see the light at the end of the tunnel. I'm not worried about it. Just got to keep working on this thing. And even the greenies, you guys, even the trusty greenies cannot break his grudge. I mean, he, every, he gets the greenies, he's still mad at me. He'll take the greenies and then he'll just go off holding his grudge again. I don't know how to change that association because he's going to have to get handled by me getting his, you know, gel in his mouth uh, whenever he eats, you know, which is probably one of his greatest loves in life. Uh, he has to, he'll have that taste of all the powders. He'll have the taste of the water additive in there. It's, yeah. And I'm sure when he looks at me, he's like, you took the happiness away from me, Erica. <laughs> uh, so, um... I just wanted to share this little experience with you guys. Uh, just expect expect if you guys are doing this kind of thing for your cat and you want to be proactive about their health or um, see, you know, does do these do these um, additives work? Do these supplements and powders work? Does the brushing the teeth and uh, work? Uh, you might end up with a really grudgy cat, and maybe your cat's not like Oreo. Maybe it, it maybe it'll just love you unconditionally, and it'll be like, okay, you know, even though you've changed my water, my food, and now you're sticking something in my mouth, um, it's okay. I still love you. But um, yeah, I hope you guys have a cat that's a little more tolerant than Oreo. It's Oreo. Oreo, you know, never forgets you. Yeah, I see the butt end of Oreo. Um, he gives me his back. He he just he's not as cuddly as he used to be. I'm not saying he doesn't he he doesn't like he hates me or anything, but he's more prone to keeping his distance. I think he kind of thinks like crap. Is she gonna try to squirt that uh that gel in my mouth again? This fresh breath thing. So he's a little on edge, a little on edge, but. Uh, he has no problem. He has no problem cuddling up next to Lewis, his uh, the guy who does not put any of this gel and additive and supplements on his food. He's, you know how before he used to sleep in the cat bed in the kitchen. He doesn't do that anymore. He only likes to sleep next to uh, the cat bed next to Lewis's chair now. Yeah, so I feel a little lonely uh, on my laptop sometimes because I'm waiting for Oreo and Oreo's just like, I don't want to be near you, Erica. I don't want to have all this supplement. I don't know. I don't know if Oreo's going to appreciate it. I, I hope that he, because, you know, I don't think he can, I don't know if what he feels in his mouth. I don't know if he can associate all this stuff as being the catalyst. If his, if, you know, his, his mouth doesn't stink anymore or I don't know if he has any pain in his mouth either, but I, I really do believe in these products, and I do think it's going to make a difference. And if not, Oreo goes off to the vet getting his dental cleaning, and you know what happens if he gets the dental cleaning afterwards? He's still going to be on these products. Yeah, I'm not going to lessen him getting his teeth brushed or the gel or his, his powder or his water additive at all. Um, if he doesn't have any negative effects to it, it's I see it as more like making sure that there's a routine being built 
So that way, if Oreo does need to get the dental cleaning, I don't have to bring him to a dental cleaning um, in the future, hopefully. Um, because, yeah, I didn't take care of his teeth. But he, yeah, he, this, this kind of routine is not going away for a while. Um, as long as he doesn't have any complications, as long as he doesn't have, let's say, um, stomach issues from water additive, um, then I'm just going to continue doing it. And he's going to be a grudgy cat, grudgy cat. So, um, just wanted to put it out there. If you guys see me stream with Aura and you wonder, you know, oh, how come Oreo doesn't look so cuddly with Erica? That's the reason why. It all revolves around the dental clear. All revolves around it. Uh, but it's okay. Again, I'd rather have him be an angry cat with um, with good teeth or better teeth than a happy cat that could end up toothless. Yeah, so you guys take care. I will talk to you guys later. Uh, my stream is now a paltry one hour instead of uh, two hours, so that's kind of good. And yeah.